Hi, Charlie here, and today we're going to be exploring orbital mechanics with a game called Kerbal Space Room. It's my favorite game I've ever played, it's very awesome and it's totally chill game. And we just bought buy at kerbalspaceprogram.com or just search it out and, and, and just get it. We will, today we will be launching Kerbal X, a very awesome rocket that can guess it a little bit and do a moon flyby and, and everything. This is in the sandbox mode so we can, so we can make mistakes and, and, and I will do that. So yeah, this is a demonstration of a video game and you hear my little sister crying in the background. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Talk about something else. Um, what the? This is this is very successful. I'll tell you what these things are. This is called program direction. Retrograde, the opposite of perfect. Normal is like perpendicular or upwards. And anti the opposite. The radial towards the orbit, the, the body or orbit. And radial anti radio is the opposite. Away from the world, so it's very, very cool the way everything works. The, all these icons, they can be presented with the right hand. If you hold your first three fingers at at perpendicular angles, it if and you point point your Put your index finger towards probably and your thumb to put it to probably like that. So and, and so and you are maybe your middle finger to hold it and and your thumb will be will be like pointing radial and. The opposites are just like with the opposites, so yeah. Um, so we the thing is, you don't get to space and stay there by just blasting straight up, you, you have to blast sideways. I'm doing because you have to go sideways really, really fast to get into orbit. Because, well, if you, if you don't have a perfect, if you're not going sideways, gravity will be pulling you back down. As you can see, even though we're almost in space right now, the gravity is still slowing us down quite a lot. Okay, I need to press vector. Okay, we're... Would you look at that? We're out of the atmosphere and our speed is still de decreasing because gravity is still pulling us down. It's, it's just a lot less. Now we have to orbit around the thing. So we have to go sideways in orbit to stay. And the thing is, it's very hard to stay in orbit on this is a fake planet called Kerbin, and you can see the Kerbals. They're, oh yeah, they're, they're in the backseat. This is Jabdar's view. Well, anyways, uh, 
and curbing the orbital velocity, which is the velocity you need to orbit around something, is is not very realistic. It's only about 2,400 2, meters per second. But in the real world, it's 8,000 meters per second. So it's a lot harder to get into orbit. Like, it's 8,000 meters per second. Would you look at that? Orbits are very important for you to stay in space because, as lots of people say, getting getting into the orbit is is halfway to getting to everywhere. The orbital mechanics of them work like this. But pro if you blast prograde, you raise the opposite end of your orbit, and if you blast retrograde, it, it de decreases your the opposite end of your orbit. You blast radial to change the inclination of your orbit. And I mean normal to change the inclination of your orbit and anti normal to change it the other way. Radial changes, rotates your orbit, and and it only does that when it's perfectly on the apoapse or the periapse. So that's orbital mechanics. The thing, but the thing is, you you can orbital orbits are not at all stable. You know how curb curbing orbits curveball and earth orbits the sun so the sun is having some force on, on moons so it pulls it away every single time but in but it's minuscule so you barely notice it but eventually what can happen is that it can just like fly into space and come and it might come back again more orbital mechanics, but yeah, that's how that's how some things happen. Now, if if you want to get into or, an orbit in the of Kerbal that that is elliptical, and you want if you want to get to Moho, which is like Mercury. Or something you want to blast the engines so so when you're the you're like exiting the sphere sphere of influence you're going retrograde to curb for curbing you're going towards curbing's retrograde so it will give you a boost so you don't have to do as much later on well, and it's the opposite if you want to go farther out. You want you you want to blast your engines when when the when you're up you're you're moving up you're moving retrograde. So so you'll exit prograde, you'll exit prograde and it'll give you a gravitational uh an orbital boost like to like outward, so yeah. Um, the, the thing is, the peri, the periaps, you know, I'm just, I just don't like calling it the periaps and apoaps, because that's, that's how it's like in, in Kerbal Space Program. In real life, there's lots of different names. The, the sun is per, perhelion, the earth is perigee, ha ha ha, perigee, and, and the moon is paraluna. Oh. So, so you don't always use apoaps is or periaps is. So the thing is, once you're in orbit, I'm I'm liking conversation again. But once you're in orbit, you'll slowly fall down. If 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 you're not very high up.
because her, her, because the Earth's atmosphere actually extends um, farther out than just the, the higher atmosphere. It goes like way out, very, very far. So you can't very, you very much just it's impossible to get into a stable orbit because if you're close enough and you're shielded in your either way the sun will pull you away and the exosphere will pull you in so and it, but there is there are five places that are known as like grants points that actually do this so, but they're not in the orbit the the first like range point is is over like somewhere over there at at the very center between the sun and the earth or whatever body you're looking at it will stay there and not move the second like range point is at the edge of carbon sphere influence on that side it is not very very stable e either but three other things are very stable one is the opposite side and two the opposite side of whatever object and this two and three are are a sixth of the way around the orbit on each side which is why there there are so many trojans and greeks Trojans are like over there, and Greeks are like over there. And Mars, Jupiter, and Neptune have a lot of them be because they're near a lot of asteroids or something, or they're very massive. So, tro so that's those are called Lagrange points. It, it's not, and the last one, and the last, it's not spelled with ch but it it's spelt with like g e at the end l a n g r a n g e so lagrange points are where you can stay there this is so l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 no, I don't want to set you in this trigger. So, right now it's almost time. I own, my recorder only gives me a maximum of, of like um, 15 minutes. So, right now you're just going to be wa watching me go go back down. And I'll skip the minute. Min it only required me 50 1.7 meters per second to actually get out of the orbit. And, and that's a bit too much. Okay, I mean, never mind, that's a bit too much, but uh, you can see how e easy it is to get out of orbit, but how hard it is to get to orbit. Okay, so the navigation. I'll skip. By the way, you know you know why astronauts say they experience zero gravity or microgravity? It's because they're constantly in, in free fall around the planet, but they're moving sideways so fast that it just misses the planet and comes back. And that's what orbits are. It's it's imagine a tram, trampoline and it has a very heavy bowling ball or something in the middle. And if you have a little oil ball, you can roll it ar around it, and eat in, in, in the little ball, all the spruces are perfectly balanced. It's all, it's all pulling out, the centrifugal force is pulling out, but, but the uh, gravity is pulling it in, so that's how it works. And I'm just going to skip the re-entry until the parachute's open, because I heard that I might be... Smashing it, and never mind. I won't because um, my parachute's open just in time, and it's going too slow now. So I'm just gonna time this over. The thing is, if, if you don't expect right to, to like slow down, you're climbing on a mountain. 